It's mid-September here at the lake, which means leaves are already turning, starting to fall. It also means that it's getting below freezing overnight and you have to worry about whether or not our water will stay liquid when we camp out overnight. Normally I would use a Reflectix Cozy for my pots and my bottles, but my wife was doing a costuming project and she had some leftover closed cell foam and I thought that would be an interesting project. Closed cell foam makes a good under insulation if you're hammock camping, so I thought it might make a good insulator for my bottles and pots. I'm going to do a head-to-head -head comparison. Size, or bulk in the pack, weight, durability, and, of course, insulating value. It's been 15 minutes. We'll do this really quickly. You're about 180 degrees Fahrenheit. So it did cool off quite a bit. It's been five hours. 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Just starting to get a skim of ice around the edges there. Six and a half hours. There's the foam cozy going in the refrigerator. Well, the freezer. See how we're doing with the foam cover. 187 Fahrenheit. And we'll put that on there and leave it for another five hours. Yeah, well, four hours and 45 minutes. See how we're doing. Should have mentioned the freezer is set at zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 Celsius. It is at 62.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it's been seven hours. 38.8 degrees Fahrenheit. I didn't want to stay up this late. We'll give it another hour. All right, we're at eight and a half hours. 33.3 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see there are ice crystals just beginning to form. I broke some of them with the thermometer right at the edge. Which is two hours longer than the Reflectix. So we'll call that eight and a half hours. So for winter camping, I have a double cozy. I put the top on the bottom, and I take this longer top, put it down over the first cozy. So it's been 15 minutes, which is about as long as you use to cook a camping meal. We've got 183.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Close that back up. All right, it's been six hours. Let's see how we're doing. With the double cozy, 50.5 degrees. Close it back up and give it a couple more hours. It's been eight hours. With the double cozy. Water is at 33.8 degrees, not quite freezing, 34.9. We'll give it another half hour. So we learned the single layer of Reflectix was not as insulative as the single layer of foam, which was about the same as two layers of Reflectix. But it's not really a fair comparison because the Reflectix is thinner than the foam. The foam is eight or nine millimeters thick, just under a centimeter. The Reflectix, although the edges squished down a little bit, is half a centimeter, five millimeters. Okay. The single layer of Reflectix weighs 1.35 ounces, which is 37 grams. The wind's blowing, that's why it went up to 38. The double layer of Reflectix weighs 68 grams, which is 2.4 ounces. Single layer of foam is 2.10 ounces, or a little less, or 60 grams. So, 
The Reflectix is pretty resilient. You can crush it up. At least the taped Reflectix is cozy. Straighten it back out and it's still fine. Foam is very rigid. If you squish it, it pops back. But I think if you really flatten that bottom out, well, it's very hard to flatten out, and if you did, this would pop out of the cylinder. The bottom would pop out of the cylinder if you really flattened it. It would break. I give the edge on durability to the Reflectix. The single Reflectix is 12 centimeters in diameter. For the foam, the bottom is 12 and a half centimeters in diameter. And the double layer Reflectix, the bottom is 13 centimeters in diameter. So the double Reflectix is 15 centimeters tall. The single Reflectix is 13 centimeters tall. The single foam is 13.75 centimeters tall, I'd say. And to get the total volume in the packs, we have to measure the tops as well. Foam's not exactly circular, but we'll call it 14 and a half centimeters in diameter. And the single layer Reflectix is about 14 centimeters in diameter. The top for the foam is five and a half centimeters tall. The top for the single layer Reflectix is oh, about four and a half centimeters tall. Let's sum up. The double layer Reflectix and the foam performed about equally. The double layer Reflectix has a slightly bigger volume and slightly heavier than the foam. The single layer Reflectix is smaller and lighter than either the foam or the double layer Reflectix, but it did not perform quite as well.